What's going on, Wolves? It's your boy Said. And in this video, five conversation starters. Um, if you want to break the ice with someone, anybody, it can be a girl you like, it can be uh, an old man at the bus stop, it can be someone in the gym, or anybody that you want to talk to or you break the ice with. Um, before I give you the five conversation starters, now, I'm a very social guy and I like to talk to strangers and I like to talk to people, um, but don't be attached to how they respond to you, meaning some people, they, they don't want to talk and they're just maybe like, they'll be weirded out, why are you talking to them? Other people will be welcoming. Don't be attached to neither of them. If you feel like you want to talk to someone and you feel like you want to say, hey, how's it going? Say it. If you want to like say something, say it and don't be attached to how they respond. They might respond positively and want to talk to you, they may not. And in either ways, you just do you, okay? Uh, now, those five conversation starters to break the ice. Number one, very, very relaxed, very easy. How's it going? How's your day going? Uh, what's up? You know, just the, the usual, you know? It's beautiful. Works like a charm. Simple. How's your day going? What's up? What's going on? How you doing? Um, all of them, you know, the variations of it. Great conversation starter, you know? They'll probably respond good, and then, you know, if they say good, or if they say not bad, be like, how come not bad, why not good, you know, and you can take it from there, so many answers, right? You can kind of take, take it from there and just kind of keep asking them, okay, what, you know, I'm doing excellent, oh, really, what's going on in your life, you know, um, share the happiness, you know, whatever. Not a lot of people say excellent, in my, in my experience, everyone says good because they're programmed, some people say not bad, most people are not happy. But it's very refreshing when you run across someone who's like genuinely happy. Really refreshing. And the conversation usually just takes off to another level on its own. So, that's number one. Uh, number two conversation started that break the ice uh, is compliment. You know, uh, if you see a girl and she has this special hair, maybe um, she has red, head, red hair and you like it, so you go up to her and be like, hey, I, I really like your hair. Um... I like, I like how, you know, you pull it off. Not a lot of girls can pull off red hair or something like that, you know. Uh, if you like her, she's wearing a ring or a tattoo. Tattoo, man, I find that works like a charm. If You genuinely got to be interested genuinely, right? Like, I, I'm genuinely interested in tattoos. I'm thinking about getting tattoos. So, like, I just ask people when I see a tattoo. I'm like, hey, what's this tattoo mean? Um, or if you see, like, you know, you want to just go start up, like, a conversation with, like, a random guy, for example, right? Just go be like, you know, like if he's wearing a shirt, like a Bob Marley shirt, for example, or something, be like, and you listen to Bob Marley and you like it, be like, you know, sick shirt, bro, one love, something like that, right? But give a compliment, you know, um, something nice, something kind, genuine. You have to be genuinely interested, you know, and not just saying it to manipulate. Uh, and that is a wonderful way to break the ice, you know? Wonderful way, absolutely, because if right away, good feelings, you know, spreading the love. Um, number three, make an assumption. Um, so, I'll give you an example. Two days ago, I was walking here in the, in the woods, uh, and I met up with these guys. You know, three brothers. You know, we talked, and it was it was amazing, man. We smoked a joint, we talked, and it was it was really nice. Very high level conversations we were talking about, right? How to change the world and stuff. Um, you know, these guys were in the woods, you know, doing their thing, and they were, you know, on a higher level, higher consciousness. You can sit down and talk to them about real shit. Uh, and the way they actually broke the ice, I was walking with my friend and one of them looked at me, one of the, these guys, and said, you look Greek. And then that's it. I was like, oh, no, no, bro, I'm from Syria. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm from Greek. That's why I thought you look Greek because this and that, right? And then he's like, I'm half Greek, half German. Then we got to know their friends and we chilled. We, they, they, they invited us to smoke a joint, we smoked a joint, we chilled there. It was beautiful. You know, again, make an assumption. You know, if you have like a gut feeling, like the guy had a gut feeling I was Greek. I wasn't, but hey, we ended up chilling for like an hour, maybe two hours even. Random, total random strangers, right? So, make an assumption. If you see a girl and be like, she, you, you think she's Italian and, you know, you really like her, just go up to her and be like, you look you look Italian. Or, you know, um, you look like the kind of girl, if you see like a girl um, that, I don't know, maybe, you know, she looks like she plays sports, you go up to her and be like, you look like you play a lot of sports. Uh, or make an assumption, okay? 
So an assumption, that's number three. So let's just go over it again. How you doing? Just a simple question, how's your day? Uh, number two, uh, give a compliment. And number three uh, is make an assumption about the person you, you want to break the ice with. Um, and that usually takes the conversation, makes it interesting right from the get-go. Because your, your assumption is correct, it's going to be like, oh, shit. And if it's not, then there you go, you got something to talk about. Number four, the weather. Okay, this one is classic, timeless. And it works like a charm too, you know? If it's a nice day, you look at someone beside you waiting at the, the bus stop, and you just want to have a conversation, and be like, nice day. And they'll probably be like, oh yeah, nice day. And then you guys can talk a little bit about the weather and like, um, you know, like, yeah, it's been getting better, etc., etc., right? Or if it's a shitty day, same thing, you know? You look at the person like, what a shitty day, eh? And then, you know, if they, you know, they agree with you and then you guys can like complain a little bit and then there you go, you have a conversation. What's your name? My name is this. My name is, my name is that. So the weather, okay? Uh, and number five, this one is old school. Um, maybe not a lot of people use it anymore because we all have phones and stuff, but ask for the time. What time is it? I still sometimes do that because genuinely I don't, I usually don't carry my phone and I don't carry a watch and... I don't give a fuck too much about the time, but sometimes I do, and I usually ask it genuinely, not not to break a conversation, just because I, I want to know, like I want to know the time, but more, it doesn't happen very often. It used to be a lot a lot more classic back in the day, right? A lot Back in the day, because they didn't have phones and stuff, and if somebody wasn't wearing a watch, they genuinely didn't know the time, right? Because they didn't have cell phones, they didn't have anything like that. Um, but you can still use it, you know? Uh, what time is it? You know, if you're waiting at a bus stop, you know, do you know what time is it or what time does the bus come, right? It's classic, old school, not very used very often now, but can still work, right? Of course, there are many, many other ways to, do, to, to break a conversation. There are no rules, no rules, remember that. But these are good ways that I, I personally usually break the ice with someone, right? So take that and make of it what you will. Check out SideMobile.com for inspiration and empowerment. And go to the description, I got a free book, Five Powerful Habits Dominate in All Areas of Life. Leave me something in the comments. And as always, I love you guys, love you guys, love you. But don't forget to subscribe or you're going to sleep with the fishes.